my channel. She goes Jazz on the Rovi. And today is February 18th. This Friday is currently 7.39. And I'm going to be headed out soon. But I wanted to sit down and tell you guys that this is my first week of my phlebotomy course. And I'm pretty much putting in some last minute studying because we have a test today. And we had a quiz on Wednesday. I got 100 on it. It was on the infection control. That's really cool. So I'm kind of nervous about this study guide because we literally just got it yesterday because she forgot to give it to us on Wednesday. So I just been trying to not cram, but at least learn as much as I can. And I had to go through my notes and actually read some of the stuff because she does use some stuff in the notes that's not on the study guide because I did learn that from my MA course. But I have a little clip of me um, practicing how to take blood, you guys. I'm going to put that in. Um, I, took, I recorded it on Wednesday. So this course is a lot, you guys. Like, it's so much information. She said it's going to be a, like a 50-question test today. So I'm just praying and hoping about my A, get my A, so we can start off strong. Cause I just got an A on my quiz, so we would love an A on the test, right? Oh, and we have we have extra credit points. I've just remembered. <laughs> so I'm just going to study a little bit. And then I'll hit you guys back up when I get to school. because we leave at 12 today um so a majority of the time after we finish our test because normally our test is on monday but she wanted to give it to us today i'm guessing so we can like finish early or whatever because we did have a week break that I, like i told you guys so i'm guessing she wants to make up for that week i'm going to record myself doing the practice sticks if Seven on my test so yay I didn't get an A but it's still really good so um, today we did finger pricks I totally forgot to record it wasn't nothing crazy we were just learning that so that we know how to do it when we get into office so I'm gonna hit you guys up when I get home take my little 40 minute drive home but it's not gonna be bad because it's only 12 so it shouldn't be too much traffic so I'll hit you guys up later all right you guys so I'm back home and I'm about to get settled in. But I wanted to talk to you guys about how I'm feeling about being in phlebotomy now because I, I did finish my MA course. Um, I passed my final with the 81. It's not what I wanted, but you guys, at the end of the day, they don't ask you what grade you got on your final. They just want you to at least get a 75. So I'm grateful for my 81, you know. <laughs> And like I said before, we just had a quiz on Wednesday. It was the infection control circle, pretty much. Um, infectious agent, the reservoir, exit pathway, route of, mode of transmission, entry pathway, and then the susceptible host. So that's the quiz that we had, and I got 100 on it. 
And then we had our test today. Yeah, I got an 87. But I'm proud of myself because that test was like, what I've learned with my teacher, her name is Ms. Dawson. What I've learned with Ms. Dawson, she she does not go off the study guide fully. Like she'll use not even 50% of the study guide. Well, 60% of the study guide she'll use that. And then she'll use the rest from the notes. But majority of the questions come from the notes. So I'm kind of happy that I took MA before phlebotomy because phlebotomy is just harder. Like, and this is the first week, you guys. Like, I just started on Monday and it already seems harder than MA. Like, we have to learn all the vessels, all the arteries, the heart. Well, I'm knowing that now. Um, we have to learn which vein to puncture, which vein not to puncture. We have to learn about how you can get a hematoma and how that's a, that could become a legal issue, guys. So there's a lot of stuff that comes with being a phlebotomist. So I'm just super proud of myself that I finished MA so strong and I got all A's and B's on all my tests. So my first test, I got a 94. My second MA test, I got an 84, those three tests. Okay, so a 94, 84, a 91, and then an 81 on my final. So we're starting off with my phlebotomy. I got a 100 on my quiz and then a 87 on my test, my first test. And then our next test is next Wednesday because we don't have school Monday, so. Yes, you guys, I'm so super excited for phlebotomy because it just seems so fun. Like, who doesn't want to draw blood? Like, that's so cool to me. The fact that I'm going to be taking blood out of somebody's arm. Like, I'm going to know how to do it. <laughs> like, that's so cool. Like, And being in this process, going through this journey is so beneficial for me because I'm pretty much learning majority of the stuff that nurses are going to learn. Just at a lower level, of course. And, um... There's this lady in my class, she's a tech or whatever, a patient tech. And she's pretty much saying like a lot of the nurses that come straight out of nursing school don't have that patient care and that sympathy for patients because they just only know the material. The fact that I'm getting experience and actually working on my classmates and being able to do what we're learning on, our cla on my classmates is really cool because I'm not gonna be straight off the books, you know what I'm saying? It's not gonna be straight, fresh out, go into a hospital, you know. My first patient is who is my first person I'm poking, like, that's scary. So I'm really happy that I'm getting this experience, you guys. And I read a comment and she said, you're not a statistic. I'm gonna put her name, cause that was really cool. She said, you're not a statistic. You're just taking it on a different level and a different route. And that's what I was saying. Like, everybody has their goal. Everybody has their goal in life. And we're all gonna get there our way. Like, there's no specific way to become a registered nurse. There's no specific way to become a registered nurse in labor and delivery, you guys. So, all I say is do your research and do what is right for you. And what do you feel in your heart? You know, follow your heart. All I've always done is follow my heart because sometimes you think it's right but if you don't feel it it's not right because you'll be you didn't pay the people went through a whole month of class and you're like this is not for me you just wasted a whole month you could have been doing something that was for you so yes you guys i'm just super excited and ecstatic for this new journey in my life and these new you know openings of doors and doors that are going to be open in my life and just you know having self-love and picking me first now and that's really good because i've always been you know a person that's always been nice and I always put people before myself and i learned that that's good but it's just way better to put yourself first and it's good to be a nice person like that's all i've been my whole life but I didn't grow out of it, but I grew out of letting my niceness get taken for weakness. And 
let people take advantage of my time because time is money and i'm starting to realize that now because you can't get your time back like we don't know when our last day is gonna be so you gotta live your time up to the fullest like live every day to the fullest so that you can fulfill your dreams and be happy in life so i just want to say that i love you guys and i really appreciate you guys so much like i read every single comment i try to re reply to every comment because my support is like i love you guys like i really appreciate you guys watching me and liking my videos and commenting it means a lot so make sure you guys like comment and subscribe as well as share with your friends and please 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 put on that notification bell so that you can get notified every time i post a new video so you don't miss nothing because you want to be a part of this program this journey with me you gotta watch our videos so all right i love you guys so much and stay tuned for my next video bye